Hello everyone, my name is Wei from the Moby Media team and in this video we'll be taking a look at something very interesting. We've covered a couple dystopian-like technology advancements in this channel, but I think that Elon Musk's Neuralink beats all of that. I think that it is the most mind-blowing technology that we've seen so far. Let me know what you think as we go through this video. So I'll walk us through why exactly I'm showing this video. It really is impressive, but before we do that, let's take a look at what exactly the Neuralink is. Well, it's a brain chip that the goal is for the brain chip to enable control of your phone or computer and through them almost any device just by thinking. So you wouldn't need to click anything or really do anything. You can just be sitting and thinking and you can control external devices. That is their goal and initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. So this is targeted towards those with disabilities and who knows what else could be happening in the future. Maybe they'll be transferring knowledge with these brain chips. Who knows? Things are pretty crazy recently and we've been seeing some very interesting and impressive technology so this could definitely advance into more than just those with disabilities but currently that is what their aim is and i think that it's a great mission that can really help there are some mixed thoughts about this as we see some think that this is not going to end well and that this is giving control as you have the chip in the brain which might be able to control you. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what side you're on. Would love to hear the discussion in the comments below. And the example they gave here is that Stephen Hawking would be able to communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. Again, very impressive. And the first product will be called telepathy as this gives you telepathy-like abilities. It really is impressive. And the groundbreaking news is that the Neuralink has just been approved by the FDA to be implanted into a human being. So for the first time ever, a human has received the brain chip implant and Elon Musk claims that the initial results show promising neuron spike detection. So it seems like it's going well. He hasn't shared much information. We don't know who exactly was the test study case and we really don't know much at all. I'm very excited and interested to find out more about this. And of course, we'll keep you updated on the channel. But again, we see some replies like when your Neuralink chip gets hacked and then this is just a meme of getting rickrolled. But of course, if it can be hacked, then it can get very dangerous. So let me, again, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. But um, yeah, that is definitely something to consider. The security of having a brain chip in your brain because it's technology and technology is vulnerable to cybersecurity attacks. So this really was an accomplishment on Neuralink's side. So that is very impressive. And let's take a look at some additional information. So one of Neuralink's competitors, Precision Neuroscience, has actually implanted their device in a human for the first time last year. I can make a separate video on this, but we see that this is not brand new. These scientists have been working on this for decades to kind of create a similar result. And we'll see what really this looks like with the video that I was showing earlier of the monkey. And we'll see this in action. It is very interesting. Neuralink did face some accusations about mistreating some of their monkeys, but the agriculture department did say that after an investigation and did not find any violations aside from a self-reported incident. So you could take a look at that as well. And again, these are the tweets that we took a look at earlier. And Neuralink is seeming like they have some good funding backing them. So we see that's backed by more than 30 investors, including PayPal co-founder, founder fund, according to TechCrunch. And Musk said in 2022 that he plans to get one of the Neuralink implants himself. If he does get it himself, I'm sure that would cause more trust around this whole Neuralink chip idea. Let's now walk through the monkey video. So what we're seeing here is a video game. So the monkey's playing a video game and he's controlling this circle dot through this joystick on the bottom right. His right hand is controlling the white dot and the objective is to reach the orange square. Every time he does so, he gets a reward, which is a fruit smoothie through the straw. So it's a video game and he's getting rewarded for playing the video game. But later on in the video, we'll see that because the monkey has a Neuralink chip inside of his brain, if I jump to later on in the video, we'll see that the joystick is now unplugged. So this is being completely controlled through the Neuralink. It's very impressive. The white dot is still reaching the orange square and the monkey is still seeming to believe that they are using the joystick to control this but it's unplugged they're not using the joy to joystick to control this and rather it is being controlled by the Neuralink chip and we see this in action very impressive we can also see the monkey playing 
Pong here, and he's quite good at it. So once more, he is using his Neuralink chip to control his actions in Pong, and this time he doesn't even have a joystick. So they removed that feature as well to show another angle of what this would uh, look like. So let me know what you think of this. Are you scared? Are you excited? Are you impressed? I'd love to hear your thoughts. We'll keep you guys updated. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss out on the latest updates that we're always posting. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.